Oh, hello, people. Ken David Stewart uh, back with you today. Uh, today, what I thought is I'd give a, kind of a video uh, presentation of my About Me page that I have on my few of my blogs, like like WordPress and and uh, Blogster and several others. And I've got one written down, and I'm kind of going by the notes here, which I'll probably elaborate on, because uh, I think. The video usually gives people a better idea of the person, uh, gives them a better mental picture of the of the person that's writing the blogs, and I hope to accomplish that. Uh, I wrote that I am presently retired, and that's not entirely true, because I've uh, since updated that and have returned to uh, substitute teaching with River East uh, Transcona School Division in Winnipeg. Uh, I had formerly been a, a full-time teacher for about uh, 20 years and had spent maybe five uh, plus years at least as a substitute teacher and I'm now returning to being a substitute teacher. Uh, in between I spent uh, 10 years in the mental health field and uh, worked as a what was called a life skills worker which is a type of mental health worker in a psychiatric rehabilitation uh, facility. Uh, I left that uh, position last March and kind of went into a semi-retirement. I had a good time during my uh, semi-retirement. I concentrate a lot in trying to get myself back into physical shape and uh, I recall when the weather warmed up I did a lot of uh, mountain bike riding. I would uh, go to the gym and I would take my dogs for hikes at the, at the dog park. And it went fairly well. I didn't lose any weight really but uh, I felt I was getting myself into, into pretty, pretty good shape uh, otherwise. But the drawback became the pain factor. I noticed quickly that I really had to pace myself and I couldn't do uh, too much in one day uh, due to arthritic pain and uh, fibromyalgia. Uh, a couple of years ago I actually had to have an operation surgery uh, knee replacement on my uh, right knee and for about a year and a half it seemed to be going pretty well, the, the recovery from it and uh, you know I, I felt less pain and could move around better but the last few months it seems to be uh, giving me a lot of problems again uh, so now I find especially when I'm substitute teaching I really have to watch what I, what I do physically uh, with my other time uh, because the pain threshold can become way too high and very debilitating uh, like a lot of people my age, I'm just about 60 years old, uh, I have to take a lot of medications for uh, several different uh, medical conditions. And uh, uh, I suffer from depression, uh, fibromyalgia, arthritis, and a few other conditions. Fortunately, no, uh, no heart disease or cancer. Uh, I'm happily married. I have uh, two uh, grown-up kids. Uh, and I have one granddaughter. And uh, my wife and I also have in our home, we have uh, three animals, two dogs and a cat. Uh, the dog's names are Sweetie. She's a Belgian Shepherd. And uh, we have uh, another dog that we that was rescued. Uh, named Snuggles and Snuggles we kind of had a hard time figuring out exactly what breed of dog he is. He appears to be maybe an Australian cattle dog or part uh, you know a border collie uh, but he's basically or she is basically a, a white dog who looks like somebody's just like Jackson Pollock style uh, flicked a paintbrush at her of black paint oh so she's kind of motley colored black and white. Very cute dog though, except she destroys things. She chews up shoes and pencils and about anything she can find, so we're constantly 
uh, actually chasing both dogs. Uh, we have to keep an eye on them, just like little kids, to see what they got in their mouths. Uh, as I said in, in my written blog, I have a variety of, of interests. Lots of things interest me, from uh, cars to computers, animals. Uh, I play guitar less than I than I used to. I'm not by any means a good uh, guitarist, but I do enjoy making a lot of noise with uh, uh, with my wannabe. Uh, Les Paul guitar called a Renegade and my crate amp which is a good 90s metal type amp it's pretty powerful and it can make a lot of noise I also have a GNX4 uh, effects uh, machine and that can really create some cool sounds uh, during the summers uh, I'm going to be riding my mountain bike again I'll have to get a new one because my one from last year got stolen. We were a little bit careless and sure enough somebody stole it. Uh, I love listening to music. I've always loved listening to music since I was about five years old actually. I grew up with Elvis and then went on to the Beatles when I was a teenager and uh, I still listen to, to music uh, today. I've noticed on Frostwire there uh, they have a common uh, creative license or something where artists can download their uh, or upload their their music and videos and I've become very interested in that because I want to hear what what the young people are uh, are doing these days uh, so music has always been a, a great interest of, of mine uh, lately I've really gotten into kind of the punk metal type of bands like Motorhead and uh, the Ramones, two bands that were really, really underrated. And uh, one of the last bands, I, I called them the last great band, was uh, Nirvana, because I really learned to appreciate the Seattle grunge uh, theme, because my son uh, used to have several Nirvana CDs, and I Later on, uh, developed quite an appreciation for Kurt Cobain and uh, Alice in Chains, and a lot of Soundgarden, a lot of these bands. Uh, like I say, I, I this winter it's been quite warm in Winnipeg, and I've been able to uh, take my dogs uh, out to the park at Kilcona uh, Dog Park. Uh, uh, most days, even quite a few days uh, during the winter time here, which I wasn't expecting, because usually December, January, February, it's usually kind of like, like forget it. It's just too cold. But we've had a fairly mild winter, quite a mild winter as a matter of fact. Um, I enjoy reading, of course. You know, uh, lately I've gotten uh, more into uh, audiobooks. Because uh, I find it's it's easier on on the eyes, and I, I just like to sit back and listen to a story read to me. And I belong to an audiobook club, and uh, I'm continually listening to to audiobooks. And I like both fiction and and nonfiction. Uh, what else can I say? I have a Facebook page. I have a MySpace. Uh, page. Uh, right now, I guess I could sort of call myself a, a writer. Uh, as you may have noticed, I do a fair amount of blogs, but just recently uh, I've gotten the burn to, to write a couple of novels. And uh, one that I'm working on uh, right now is, uh, you know, going to center around the world of uh, independent wrestling promotions and the other is going to center around uh, you know uh, people with serious and chronic uh, mental persistent mental illnesses and the conditions and lifestyles they they live in and are forced to live a lot of the time and why the system is failing them so those are uh, those are two novels that I've gotten that I've started on and gotten uh, in in the works right now uh, I'm using the uh, StoryMind uh, Dramatica software 
uh, which has helped me a great deal in trying to, to structure and get ideas and that sort of thing to format my, my, my stories. Um, what else could I, uh, could I say? Well, like I said, basically now I've done, uh, you know, I'm really into writing and I'm, I'm doing a lot of writing. I've also noticed uh, that there's been a fair amount of interest in a play I wrote a few years ago called Roswell 1947. And this play almost wrote itself. I used it to teach drama to uh, a group of guys at work. And... Uh, and most of them really enjoyed it. And I certainly enjoyed writing it and having the guys uh, perform it. And so I'm, I stopped writing it, sort of abandoned it in, in September of 2011. But now I've kind of noticed the hits, it's still getting hits on some of the blog sites like Word, WordPress. And I'm going to continue because I, I did not publish all of it. And I've still got, uh, let's say, a lot of material in the can there or that hasn't been released yet uh, for the Roswell 1947. So I'm going to be doing that, uh, you know, perhaps in both the written and audio and video forms. Uh, you know, kind of like audiobook style, too. So that's one of the things I'm, I'm, I'm going to be working on uh, when I'm not out working at, sub, uh, at substitute teaching. Uh, by the way, I've returned to that after a 10-year absence, and I'm really enjoying it. I, uh, uh, high school is, is my favorite but, uh, but, uh, area, but I really enjoy uh, uh, being with the kids and being back in the, in the teaching environment again. Uh, so, I think that's about all I, I'm going to say right now. Uh, you know, I hope you make a video or something also, and, and I get to know you better, all my fellow blogsters and Facebook people and MySpace and Twitter, and, uh, you know, happy, happy blogging and, uh, have a good day. This is Ken David Stewart signing out.